Playtime Co.'s new patented elastic plastic, you can stretch, pull, and twist mommy long legs in the craziest way. You're having fun, she's having fun. The new mommy long legs from Playtime Co. What's the time? Playtime Co. is the product of a great man by the name of Elliot Ludwig. Divorced, but a family man at heart. His sights were always set on bringing amazing toys to amazing children around the globe. Ludwig spent countless hours in the factory, working overtime relentlessly in an attempt to continuously innovate and surprise. In the 1960s, an unfortunate family death had pushed Ludwig down to his lowest. But with so much ambition, he rose back up and continued to fulfill his vision for the Playtime Co. Ludwig could never be content leaving a project unfinished. But just how did one man come to create such an astounding empire? How did he manage to stay determined even after suffering such a tragic loss? It all began in the fateful year of 19... I'm up 
here. I see you. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to need you to trust me. Just give you the train code to escape. Now, how is that fun? Instead, why don't we make a game out of it? The game station is still working. It will be just like old times. And if you win all three games, I'll give you the train code. <gasps> Mommy loves that idea, Poppy. Oh, you're going to have so much fun. Head to Musical Memory, and Mommy will get things started. Obey the rules, or I'll tear you apart and eat your insides while you're still alive.
You cheated! I hate cheaters! Now, we're going to play one last game! It's called Hide and Seek! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Log code 08502. In relation, experiment 1006. The prototype. A close call occurred this week in which he nearly breached containment. The prototype seemingly disassembled the digital alarm clock within his room and utilized the battery, along with several other components, to create a laser pointer, which he then fired into the security camera, disabling it. These actions allowed him 28.3 seconds completely unmonitored. Once function returned to the camera, the room appeared to be empty. One surveillance specialist went in to confirm his absence. However, upon opening the door, she realized that the prototype had hidden in one of the camera's blind spots. The prototype attempted to escape through the open door. However, another surveillance specialist was able to remotely relock the door despite the other specialists still being inside. One casualty occurred. The prototype seems to possess an unprecedented level of intelligence beyond that of all other test subjects, as well as an alarming willingness to commit violence. Further suppression treatments will need to be enacted to ensure that no other experiments develop these qualities. Experiment 1170, Huggy Wuggy, remains the optimal outcome due to his sufficient intelligence paired with maximum obedience. End of log. Did you kill her? Good. 
I'll board the train. We need to leave.